So today we're gonna fix the rust on this side of the car and basically every Tuesday we'll just be finishing up this and then getting it painted later on this spring. But this is the main focus on this part right here. And I'll walk you through the steps on how to get rid of rust. All right, so what you're gonna need first, a sandy block or whatever you have, any kind of block works. Um, we're gonna take 80 grit sandpaper and we're gonna go over this and we wanna get down to bare metal and then, then we can fill it in and uh, rebuild this panel here. So for the next step, you're going to want to take this body patch and we're going to cut it up and put it in place of where the hole is. And then we'll do the Bondo step after that. So when you're cutting this chicken wire stuff, what you can use is just like a set of kitchen scissors. So what we're going to want to do is cut it to shape so we can stick it in here. Alright, so now what we're going to do, we're going to take the Bondo glass and uh, fill this up right here. We'll probably do this about three times, and we want to sand it smooth each time we do it. Alright, so with the Bondo, we're going to mix it up. I'll show you how to mix it up. And then we're going to apply maybe three to five coats thin layers and we're gonna wait 10 minutes in between each and every 10 minutes we need to grab some 80 grit sandpaper and sand it down all right so now we got the bondo open or yeah the bondo glass now we're gonna mix it up and once you get it mixed up a little we're gonna take some here drop some in this container right here. All right, so once we get a decent amount in there, I'm gonna pop this lid back on. All right, so I'm gonna take some of this here, make sure you get it all inside the lid here. And we're gonna take the hardener cream do about a line across all right now we're gonna mix this up then once it turns this gray color now we're gonna apply it to the car all right now we're just gonna let this dry a little then we'll come back and say it and do another coat all right so once you wait about 10 to 15 minutes we're gonna sand this down even with the body lines. All right, so the first layer of Bondo glass is on. We're probably gonna do one more layer, then we'll sand it down. Since we're losing daylight, I'm probably gonna finish the rest of it tomorrow, and then we'll go on from there. All right, so now we're gonna apply the gold filler we got the base Bondo glass down. We're gonna do the gold filler and we're gonna sand it down smoothly. And then once we do the gold filler, we'll probably do about two runs of that. Then any spots left over, we'll do a glazing spot putty to fill the holes. And then we'll sand it all down. And then after that, we'll take a automotive primer, uh, get the sandable kind because we we're gonna be doing light sanding so we can smooth it out and finish it up. And I chose white just to match it with the paint. All right, so now we're gonna mix the gold seal, gold uh, body filler up, and then we'll do one layer on this and I'll sand it down. And then I'll probably fast forward because I need to do about three layers of this.
so now that we got that part done the glaze is on there now we're gonna do the primer so right now we're just gonna tape everything off right, now that we got it all taped up we're gonna take our primer do one coat and we're gonna wait about 10 minutes and sand it down with a I, I'm gonna go with the 180 uh, wet sand because wet sand uh, you're able to get it more smooth and then if there's any holes we'll fill it up with the putty all right guys so after you do the primer step here's what it should look like this is the driver's side after three coats and light sanding here is the driver's side now on this side we got a couple of scratches and stuff which we still need to get those out and I'll just make that a part of another Thank video. Thank you for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And like I said, once we get 50 subscribers, I'm doing a free giveaway for a custom windshield banner. So don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell notification for more videos.